Hello, welcome to my second recording demonstrating uh, Revit 2017 add-in connecting BIM to the cloud. In this case I'll talk about fire rate in cloud. This is an adaptation of the well-known Revit SDK fire rating sample. It implements the same three commands that we know from that. The first one to create and bind a shared parameter the second one to export shared parameter values from the BIM to a database. This comes in two flavors. One exports them with individual REST API calls one by one, and the second one uses a single batch REST API call for efficiency. The third command imports modified values from the database back into the shared parameters in the BIM. I now implemented a fourth command to subscribe to update the BIM in real time when modifications in the external database are detected. Let's start this application in the debugger and see that in action. I'm starting Revit 2017. Revit 2017 will read the add-in manifest and load the add-in in the standard manner. It shows this message telling us that this add-in has not been signed by a trusted source. I'll select always load to load it anyway. It brings up this trivial little model. We are only interested in the door elements because they are equipped with the shared parameter for holding the fire rating value. Initially, there is no such parameter here. You can see under other, we just have the head height. Let's grab the add-in custom ribbon tab and click the bind shared parameter command. And you can see that this API fire rating shared parameter has been added to all the door elements. Next, we'll export all of these values to the cloud database. Uh, as you can see, this value is still undefined for this specific door. If we import the values back again, you see that it has changed to a zero. So now it's explicitly defined. The zero was generated by exporting the undefined value. So all of this more or less matches the standard Revit SDK sample and was also available in the fire rating cloud version for Revit 2016. We can go to the cloud database. It's on Mongo Labs and refresh this value and you can see this is the door that I exported. It has a value zero for the fire rating and I also added a modified timestamp to it. Now let's get to the interesting part and subscribe to the changes. And you can see it sets a timestamp here. Let's compare those two. The door was exported at, uh, this is seconds after 19.7, January 1st on 197. So this is a Unix timestamp. Uh, it will, so we're subscribing to changes in the database. Let's select that so we can see those changes when they happen and move that window over a bit. If we go here and modify this value, let's say we change it to 222 and say save, nothing happens because we haven't changed the timestamp yet.
Okay. We can see the value for the fire rating exported to the external database. I'm looking at it here in MongoLab. And you can see the value 0 and the modified date, the point of time when it was exported. We use that to keep track of records that need updating in the BIM. I have a message running here which tells me what it's currently looking for, so it's only looking for records that were modified after 931. So let's change this value here from 0 to 111 and say we change the timestamp to 940. I need to click on the Revit window or activate Revit to get the update, and you can see that it changed. Now it's looking for 9014. Ah. After it has updated the BIM, it sets the timestamp for retrieving the elements modified later than that. The current timestamp is now 9.065. So let's change this value here to 333 and change this here to 9070. Let's activate Revit there, click Save, and as soon as we switch to the Revit window, the file rating value updates. Okay, that's uh, the file rating cloud in action in Revit 2017. I hope you found this useful and wish you lots of success with your own add-ins.